Guys, are you ready for the Christmas tree reveal? Chicos, chicas, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? I wanted to start this morning by really asking you all how you are. It's very important to kind of reflect and be very kind to each other and to always check up on our friends, especially the ones that are always fine, you know, the friends that are kind of always the strong ones looking after everybody else. Make sure to check on them today. Send them a message and ask them how they are because I really think that this is an important time to be kind to everybody. I make my first coffee. I just responded to all of the YouTube comments this morning and I don't have much time at home, probably another hour. Then we're gonna head out, we're gonna go to Bon Marché and get some Christmas decoration because honestly I had from you guys like around 15 recommendations. So the recommendations were BHV, Prantois, something like Christmas in Paris. All these recommendations, I have written them all down and I have checked out some of them already but I think a lot of them already sold out of the decoration because I've been to a few places I think I'm just late to the party I realized something very important and that is that I do not like decorating I don't like actually putting a Christmas tree doing all of that that all the other normal people love to do I just simply am not in that sense, like very, I guess like I don't cook, I don't decorate, I'm not very domesticated, I don't know. Let me know if any of you also don't like decorating because, you know, that's something to, is it just me? But you know, I want to have a nicely decorated house and I actually told my boyfriend that I just want to hire a person to do the work, you know, and I was like, why don't I just hire someone who is like, oh my god. Let's just do it together. It's our first Christmas. It's so nice. <sighs> Next year I will hire a decorator. So I will take you with me. Christmas decor shopping. Then I think we're gonna rush back home and finish off some stuff, finish off the decorating and start the day. Okay, here is the look. Sorry, my neighbor's building something, clearly. I am wearing kind of similar look to yesterday. My favorite jeans that are baggy, uh, sneakers, got the green knit, I will link it below, and my beloved Samoa coat. <laughs> Guys, here we are, Riva Gosh. Now, I really hope that there's no queue because very often there's a massive queue outside Gomache and it's Christmas, so I suppose a lot of people are buying gifts. Wish me good luck and let's hope I find all the Christmas decor. favorite scarf brand in the world love it so much and they're the best wow look how decorated it is it's so beautiful so I think we need a second floor because I came prepared I googled because I was like I will come in I will want to go to Bottega I will want to go to Dior I think I can see the Christmas shop it's here I'm finally <laughs> finding stuff I really love and like there's so much I could buy it all but I have to stop myself because honestly it's so good okay I basically tried to buy as much as I could and I think it's time to go home now I would be so happy now to get a coffee or something, but it's 
not very heavy, but it's very bulky, very bulky. And um, yeah, I need to find an exit, head home, and get back to my Christmas stuff. Okay, this is kind of amazing. I got help because I basically bought half of the shop. Um, and we're going out to find a taxi for me. Okay guys, I got back home. I brought so much. I really hope it's gonna look like something in the end. I was just telling Lada that I think that our horror from yesterday is not over yet because uh, the taxi driver kicked me out of the car. Basically what happened is he asked me uh, if I have cash and I said no, I don't have cash. Like, you know, I have card as all the taxis in France are supposed to pay with card. And he started like swearing at me in French. And of course he doesn't speak English. So I tried my best what I can to explain. I was like, hey, or you know, like if you take me home, I have some cash at home, uh, but I don't want to stop at ATM. That's what I was explaining to him. I had so many things with me. So he kicked me out of the car. And I was like in the middle of the Alexander III bridge, which is super long, and I couldn't even call an Uber then. So I had to wait. So from now on, really never getting in a taxi again. The reason why we think we're still cursed is because Lada was editing something for me. And what happened? My project disappeared. <laughs> by the end of Vlogmas, Lada, you will be so impressed by my culinary um, capabilities. Because right now I'm going to make two acai bowls for us. I'm just gonna go wash my hands and get into the kitchen. Acai bowls are ready. I'm very curious what Vlad is gonna say. As acai is not very sweet at all, I added the mango. Now it's kind of melted version as you can see, because I like to add it that way. Granola, coconut flakes, blueberries, and a bit of peanut, almond, coconut butter. By the way, it's really a cursed day. I don't even know if acai can be washed. We're gonna find out soon. The day is not super cursed. I managed to hand wash the acai. It was actually very, very easy. Let's see how the day is going to uh, proceed with the Saint-Pain de Noël. Hopefully, Lato is going to be fine. But actually, I can see it being okay. I can see it. I can see that there is some potential. <laughs> Let's see. Guys, are you ready for the Christmas tree reveal? Finally, I am somewhat happy. I wish it was kind of like how it is back home for me. Back home... My mom has like collected so much beautiful piece by piece decor and it's really stunning, but got high standards for that reason. And ta-da! This is the best I could do. I think we need a bigger top, maybe even, Vlado. Mm -hmm. I think we need a bigger like a star on the top. My boyfriend's mm -hmm. very happy that he doesn't have to do this, by the way. Tomorrow. <laughs> But in the process, there are some injured people. Okay, just switch the lights off so that you can actually see what it looks like with the lights kind of off. This is it. This is the best we can do, I think. Okay. On the bright side, what you're gonna love to know, Vlado, is that I can make you a chai tea latte. I have the best one from Wild and the Moon. Have you ever had a chai latte? Chai? Latte. No. Never? Never. Well, guess who's gonna make one for you? By the way, I'm very bad at this. I'm so happy because of this Lomas. You make me food, you make me coffee. <laughs> All for the content. Yeah. <laughs> but I know people are gonna think for real. Yes, right? I, know. I know, I <laughs> know. Actually, now, the more I look at the tree, I think that we need the top that is also sh like um, yeah. sparking. Mm -hmm. If you don't like blood, now is the time to switch to, we will put the minutes here. I try to cut like a ribbon for the Christmas stocking so I can attach it. And I also cut a piece of my finger. And honestly, with the dull like paper scissors, how is that even possible? Uh, and it's it cannot stop bleeding. I mean, I know what I need to do, but I don't have time because we are working. 
we're filming, so I look completely different right now. We're shooting some content, uh, work stuff, etc. As per usual, reels, videos, whatnot. We're trying to drag this light into the uh, building corridor. Okay, guys, it is over now. I will have a massive job of fixing all of this vacuuming, tidying, organizing, etc. But at least I'm very happy with the tree. And I even love it more when it's like dark and cozy and warm. Listening to Michael Bublé, Christmas. Love it. Guys, um, I just had a plate full of tomato soup, which as you know already by now, it's my favorite. And I was like, okay, um, might have a little snack, might make myself like a bit of a salmon and avocado, kind of easy and raw. Feeling so tired, I don't know why. I mean, technically I haven't really done anything spectacular today, except that I was kind of battling people at the Bomashed to get those pieces. My boyfriend texted me and he was like, hey, I just wanted to let you know there's 50% off at Prada. If you want to go check it out, get what you need. And you guys know how much I love Prada. It's like one of my three favorite brands in the world. And I was thinking like, oh my God, how tempted. It's raining so much outside and also I'm tired. And also I have quite a lot of trash that I want to like rubbish that I want to throw out. I want to tidy. I want to make the house perfect so that everything looks so beautiful and cozy for tonight. I really love what tree is kind of adding. But you know how it is with these things, like that bag over there on the chair is rubbish. I have more stuff that I want to kind of get rid of, boxes. I received a massive, massive, massive order, like online order, and I want to show it to you, but I think I'll leave that for tomorrow's video. I want to tidy everything up today so that I have space to nicely unbox it and try it on tomorrow. This actually is not rubbish. I, th I believe I need to keep these so that I can pack it all away. I want to show you some of my favorite bubbles. This one I love. I think this one's quite basic, but you know, cute. I love these glass ones with the snowy bit on. I think this one is pretty spectacular. I think these kind of added a lot to the tree itself as well as the golden branch. I also really think this one's cool because very textured. Then these branches as well I love. I think it looks much better in the real life than it does um, on the camera, but you're just gonna have to believe me. Then over here we have like a garland, snow globe and these big, big snow bubbles. But now in this room over here, horror movie. Like this is literally like a like a zone of horror, like supermarket bags, a lot of stuff on the table that I need to sort out. I also would like to kind of make this a little bit more Christmassy and I can because I have all of these advent calendars. So that would be really nice. And over here is even bigger horror movie zone. All of this needs to be tidied. So I think it's going to be no to Prada today. But what I will do is I will make the house perfect this evening. I will make it like exactly how I want it to be. My kind of like Christmas perfect little cozy place. And then tomorrow I can enjoy as much as I like. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the unboxing for you. I will try everything on that I got. I got quite a few pieces. Yeah, I might do like a little Q&A. Haven't done one of those in a while. Before and after. This is much better, I'm sure you guys agree. This is now tidy. Those are a few of the LV bags that I actually want to shoot. Now this is all sorted, I'm very happy. Just need a few like organize a few other little things. Also wanted to show you a lovely package that I received from Ronnie Kobo all the way from the States. A piece that I'll probably wear the most is this beautiful knit, stunning long sleeve blazer dress. And then we have this suit. You cannot see anything right now, but the suit I love so much because actually the exactly same one in brown I wore when I went for the first date um, with my boyfriend, so it was kind of lucky. And now I got it in black, so yeah, I'll show it to you. So this is the skirt. It's like just a shiny olive green. I love it. And the knit is really, I think, very, very beautiful. Look at these details on the knit. I put some lights on so you can see it. I think this is quite a cute combo to wear in like a fall or winter months so that you can really, you know, like elevate a look but still be quite comfy and warm. 
The dress is, I think, stunning. This is kind of like a classic tuxedo jacket dress. I need to zip it up because it's not fully zipped. I can't reach this part. Love it, love it. I will link it below if I can find it. I think it's such a stunning piece for holiday. This is a size small and it's very, very comfortable. So yeah, really, really love it. But this is the suit. It's like two pieces. It crosses, I don't know if you can see. It crosses in the front. This is what it looks like. It's quite kind of loose fitting trousers, which you can't unfortunately see. But I will try to show you. Black, um, kind of full leather vibe two-piece and like I said this is what I wore on my first date with my boyfriend just in color brown in like a lighter chocolate brown with some heels as well and a bag and he told me he loved what I wore uh, he was just thinking who wears brown why didn't she wear black so now I got in black too either way this is it and I really like it so what you have missed is that I had a like nice, really hot shower. I'm wearing my Arcade Kashmir uh, set that you guys know I love so much. And it's like literally the best thing to chill um, at home in. Finishing off some stuff uh, for content for the vlog for tomorrow. And now I think I'm gonna remove my makeup. I'm gonna go put some like a nice mask on and probably watch another episode of Crown because I'm so hooked. Also this set, okay, looks like nothing right now, especially because I'm wearing it like this at home. I know that all of my friends have also bought it because I told them to get this. Um, love it, love it, love it. It's a little bit oversized. I got size like I think M or S, but should have really got an extra small. But for chilling at home, it's divine. Like I said, I don't know if they have any more left um, online because obviously I know it was selling very fast. I'm also wearing it home. My cashmere socks, love them. I am going to do this mask for tonight. It's the mask creme by Afixin. It's kind of like an anti-age mask. And um, if you ask me which one, if you would buy only one, I would suggest this one. Though now I'm contemplating. Somewhere in here, I have this Mask Pigm 400 Brightening and Radiance Booster Mask. Maybe I should go for this one. Let's give this actually a go. Okay, so clean face, as you can see. I'm actually very happy because if I fall asleep again on the sofa, because I'm so, I get so tired these days. All I need to do is brush my teeth and I'm ready. It says you should hold it on for 20 minutes. But it will be like more than that. Usually they say it's okay to keep the masks on for longer. Last night I almost didn't even say goodnight to you guys before going to bed because I fell asleep on the sofa and I was so tired. Let's give this a go. And I'll let you know how it, how it works. 